Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ. Thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you're really going to like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Today I'm going to do a tutorial of the Trade app. Now the Trade app was created by the makers of StockTwits. If you're not familiar with StockTwits, it is a social app that is used by investors. So if you want to keep track of different stocks, and follow what other people around social media are actually talking about as far as day trading or long-term stocks or whatever case may be. It is very similar to Twitter, but it's like a Twitter for investors. And so StockTwits came out with the app called the Trade App, and this is the Trade App. So I'm just going to do a simple walkthrough of the different features that are available within the app and how to buy and sell using the Trade App. So when you first open up the app, it brings you to this page. It'll show you your current balance in the account. I recently deposited $20 just to see how this application works. And I'll go through how a trade works on this app. So on the first page, again, you see your performance. And then right below that, you see Tradecast. Now these Tradecast, these are other people that are on the platform that have made a trade and you can see the actual trades that they make if they make them public. And so you'll see that someone You'll see a whole different list of stocks that people have traded. You'll see their profile picture of the people who traded those specific apps. And as you can see, it looks like this one guy is pretty active. He has three different trades, one on Baba, TGT, and MDT. But you can kind of scroll through these individuals and you can look at the trades that they've made recently using the trade app. And so we're going to click on this guy since he's done quite a few. And we're going to go with Baba. And this is Alibaba. It's a company based in China. It's very similar to Amazon. They have an online e-commerce platform, and they also have a fast-growing cloud computing platform. And so you can see what this person has traded. They bought Baba at 199.65. Their order was filled, and from the time that they purchased it up until right now, it is down 0.25%. And now, if you want to, you can also click on the profile picture. And that will take you to this person's individual page. And if you choose to, you can click follow to follow that person. That way you see any of their future trades as well. They will come up on your list. And you can look at the other trades that they've made on the platform. And so these are all of the different trades that they posted on Tradecast. And you can see that they've traded Alibaba, Target, Medtronic, Baidu, Cisco, Twilio, Square, PayPal, and Activision Blizzard. And quite a few more. Some of them were private trades. You'll see the lock on the specific ones that they didn't make available via Tradecast. But most of this person's trades, they are public. And so we can click on a different one. Uh, let's go with Twilio. And you can see the price point that they bought it at, which was $167.34. And then you also see that they had a 24% return from the time that they purchased it up until today. And so that's one person. We can go back to the main page and let's pick another stock. Let's see, she invested in Apple. So we see Isabel777. She invested in Apple. She bought it at $318.08 and it's up 0.25% from the time that she purchased it until today. And if you click on her profile, you can also see all of the trades that she's made. She's following seven people. She has four followers. And she recently had trade cast on Lennar, Apple, Microsoft, and also Google. And you can see that there's actually some writing that she's made on Google. So if you click there, you can see that Isabel loves the queen. I believe that's what it says. But her purchase of Google was at $1,300.18, and it's up 7% since then. And you can see how long she's had to trade open. It's 84 days if you look at the top right corner. And so it's really cool. You can follow these people on this platform if there's any specific person that you want to follow. And I believe the usernames will be the same as they are on StockTwits if they use the same account to log in when they created their trade app account. So we're going to go back. And now below Tradecast, you have your watch list. So if there are any specific stocks that you are watching, they will come up on your watch list. And these are the stocks that I've already added. So let's look at Apple. And you can see at the top right corner, it says watching. If I click on that, now I'm no longer watching. So if you wanted to watch it, you would just click on watch and now it's back on my watch list. 
And right below where it says watching, you see fractional. This means that this specific company is available for fractional share trading. Not all stocks that are available on the trade app will you be able to purchase via fractional shares, but Apple is a very popular stock. It has a lot of volume. So if you think about stocks that are very popular and that also have a lot of trading volume, they're more than likely going to have fractional share option available on the trade app platform. And so first thing you see, you see the current price, you see the performance of the stock today, you also see the chart for today, and you can scroll through and see how it's performed over the day. You can also change this chart to a one week chart, one month, three months, one year, or a five year chart. And so you can scroll down and you can see more information about the company. You can see the opening price for today, the high and the low, the 52 week high and the 52 week low price. You also see the volume of trading for today, the average volume on a regular day. You see the total market cap of Apple, which is 1000 billion, meaning this is currently a trillion dollar company. And you see the current PE ratio and the dividend yield that they pay for their stock. And then below that, you can also see the latest news, news articles talking about Apple or other news articles that mention Apple in some way. And so even this article that is specifically about Stripe, somewhere in the article, they do mention Apple. And so that's why it comes up in their news feed. And you can click on show more and you can scroll through all of the different news over the past almost 12 hours that have mentioned Apple. Now, if you go back, at the very bottom, you'll see the about section. And so if you don't know anything about the company that you're looking at, you can scroll to the bottom here and get a description of what the individual company does that you're looking at. And so next, of course, if you want to buy Apple stock, you would click on the trade button at the bottom right. You would then click buy. And then you would get to the page where you can see the current market price. You can change the order type, which is currently set at market buy. And you can change that to a limit buy, a stop loss buy, or stop limit buy. And so if you wanted to pick the specific price that you want to buy the stock at, you would choose limit buy. And so your price per share, you would then be able to enter it. And let's say we wanted to buy it at $300, you would confirm. And if your limit price is very low, they will warn you and say, hey, are you sure you want to pick that limit price? Basically, they're telling you that no time sooner is it going to drop to $300, or at least not today. And so you can either click continue if you still want to choose that price or you can hit edit limit price and then you can change it. And so once you've confirmed, go back, we'll click continue. You can then choose if you want the trade to be good for the day or if you want it to be good till canceled. That will give you up to 90 days for Apple stock to drop down to 300 for it to automatically purchase it within your app. And so if you wanted to continue, you then would click confirm and then your order would be placed. But we're going to go back and we're going to change our order type to market buy. And you'll see in the amount type row, you'll see in share selected. And you can click on that and you can select in dollars. And so this is where the fractional share option comes into play. And so I've deposited $20 just to test the app. And that means I can buy up to $20 worth of Apple. So I'm going to enter 20. And then that'll show me the actual how many shares I will be able to purchase with $20, which is 0 0.06272 shares. So it's not a whole share, obviously, because the stock is over $300. But that's the great thing about using platforms that have the option to buy fractional shares. So even if I only had, let's say I had $320, then I could enter 320. And instead of buying just one share at 318.89, I would buy 1.00348 shares at its current price. And so then you would click review. It would ask you, are you sure? It basically gives you a, an opportunity to say, okay, this is the order type. This is the amount of shares that you want to buy. And this is how much it's going to cost you. And then you would swipe up to submit. But since there's only $20 in the account, I'm not going to swipe up. And also since it's after the market has already closed, it wouldn't process anyway you would have to wait until the next day for your market order to process. So I'm gonna click on edit, and then we're just gonna go back, click the X at the top left. And now we're gonna to go to the middle section, the discover button at the very bottom. And this is where you can search for a specific stock. So if there isn't something on your watch list and you wanna buy something, for instance, 
we're going to take a look at another high price stock that you can buy with fractional shares, and that is Amazon. And so Amazon, you can click its name. If you wanted to add it to your watch list, you could also add it before its page. You can just click on the plus sign, and then that will add it to your watch list. And now you can see at the very top right, it says watching, which means it's already on your watch list. And you can see right below the word watching that this is a stock that is available via fractional shares. And so Amazon's current stock price is $2,436. But just for $20, I can actually get in. So I'll show an example. If I click trade, I then click buy again. And then it shows my available dollars as $20. And then in the amount type, I can click on that where it says in shares and change that to in dollars. And now I can choose $20 as my buy click on review, and then it shows me that I will own 0 0.00821 shares of Amazon for $20. Now we're gonna click edit just to go back because we're not gonna actually process that. And then we're gonna look through, you're gonna see the same information. You can see the volume of trades, average volume, the market cap. This is also a trillion dollar company at $1,245 billion. You can see all of the same information that we saw for Apple. And you see that Amazon does not pay a dividend. And so you can scroll down, see the news. You can scroll all the way to the bottom to get the about page and learn more about Amazon if it was something that you weren't familiar with. But some of you may not be familiar with all of the things that Amazon does. They're not just an e-commerce place where you can essentially buy just about anything on Amazon. You can literally buy a house. But they're also a cloud computing platform. And they're a cloud computing platform called Amazon Web Services is one of the most popular cloud computing platforms out there. All right, so we'll go back and we're back on the main page and you see there's only three options. This is a very simple app to use. You have the trade page, you have the discover page where you can do searches, and then you have the third option, which is the profile button. And so in your profile, you can look at how much money is in your account. You can look at your account activity to view your trades, any dividends you've earned, any transfers that you've made, you can look in the account summary to look at your monthly statements and your trade confirmations and other documents like tax documents. You can look at money movement. So if you needed to make a deposit or withdrawal, you would go to that section. And you can transfer to your bank, transfer to your app, or look at the linked accounts that you have, any bank accounts that you have linked to the trade app. And then you can go to settings, change your account settings, change the security. And of course, there's the help section if you need any help from the trade app with any support or any guides. And then at the top right, you can click on your profile, which should be a profile photo. And so that is that. This was the trade app. Very simple app, not a lot of features, but if you're not looking for a lot of features, then this may be a great app for you. All right, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking this time out of your day. If you're not already a part of the Mobile Money Nation, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button because you really like this video and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Again, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.